In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fine tune a Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Now this is the latest 7 billion parameter model released by Mistral AI with the version three, where they've added the support for function calling, new tokenizer, and an extended vocabulary. Now I'm sure many, many of you guys have probably tried this model and you guys want to know how to adapt this model with your own data. And hopefully this video will show you guys how to fine tune it. So the fine tuning will be done in four main steps. We're gonna first download the model with necessary packages and hug and fist compatibility. We're gonna prepare the data set and show you guys how the data set should look like when you guys fine tune the model. I'm gonna show you guys the training parameters needed for the model, or training the model and inference from the saved model. Now let's jump into the code. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. And by the way, before we start writing code, I just want to quickly mention that I am using an A100 GPU from the Google Colab Pro Plus. That is the cheapest way you guys can train a large 7 billion parameter model. Now, without further ado, let's dive inside of the code. First, we're going to do CD into our content, which is the directory over here. We're going to clone our repository from Mistral AI, where we actually get our requirements over here. And then we're going to define how we get to download our Mistral 7 billion parameter model, which is the version three over here. And we're also going to install our Mistral inference. Now, before we start downloading, I just want to quickly mention that you can also download the model using Hugging Face Hub. So that's an option you guys have. I want to paste this over here. If in case you guys want to download the model through Hugging Face, it will require you to agree access to the model over here, which is an extra step. And you also have to log into Hugging Face Hub. So just so you guys know. All right, and here we go. Now we're going to run this. Okay, now it has downloaded. Now we're going to prepare our data set. So we are going to be using a pre-existing data set that is found in Hugging Face. This is the ultra chat data face recommended or given by the Mistral AI team. So now what we're doing is we are going inside of our directory, content directory. We're making a new folder called data and we're going to navigate inside of that. Now we're going to import our data set from Hugging Face. And don't worry, I will show you guys how the data set looks like and how you can adapt your own data set. So what's hap happening over here is we have downloaded our data set from Hugging Face, loaded it into a pandas data frame. We've split them into train and evaluation and we have converted into a JSON lines format, which we are going to validate and do some extra processing given by the Mistral AI team. Now to quickly show you guys how the data set should look like when fine tuning a Mistral model should look like this. So this is a JSON line. You have your lines of different JSON, including prompt and a few other parameters. Now you guys have to make sure that your data looks like this. You have your prompt, so the initial question, and then you have your messages. Now these messages will have different content and role. One is the user, so asking a question, and the assistant replying it. And this can be many different bodies of messages inside of this. So make sure you guys have a conversational QA type of chain that you can train the model on. Now, once we have that, we are going to navigate to the Mistral fine tune directory again. And now we are going to format our data we have created over here. That is done. And that's done over here too. We format and this code that is given by the Mistral AI team. By the way, the code I'm showing you guys is provided by the Mistral AI fine tuning repository. So I may not know every single detail of the training step and that's okay because you probably don't need to know every single detail of the implementation, but you can still train and fine tune the model with relative ease. And now they've provided this validate data where you can validate your YAML file. And I'm not exactly sure what it actually does, but that is something they provided. And it typically fails over here, giving some error instructions. And now we get to start training our model. Now to start training, we have to make a YAML file. And before we do that, we have to set some settings for the GPUs. We're going to define the YAML file. So we have the data over here, the model information, so model ID path, various optimization requirements over here. And yes, that's, that. that's about it. And then you create a YAML file at the end from these various parameters that you define. And now it has created a example.yaml file. Now what we do is we start training our model. So all we have to do is torch run np rock per node train example.yaml which is going to fetch all, all this different information that we provided over here. And this is where something I want to show you guys. So now I'm going to run this. Okay, so the training is up and running. But before that, I just want to quickly show that one time I've tried using a slightly less powerful GPU 
and this training step actually failed. Now that is because I had a sequence length of 8,000 something. Now when you take it down to 5,020 or maybe 6,000, then you can run it pretty easily. Now, if it's failing on GPU related issues, it's most likely for this parameter. Previously, it was 8,000 something. And if you have a much stronger GPU or larger GPU, you can use a 32,000 sequence length. So please play around with this number over here based upon the power of your GPU. And now all you have to do is simply wait until the model is fine tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, now the training step is finished. I kind of rerun the training script with a smaller subset of data because I didn't want to wait five years. And I just want to quickly show you guys how this works. Now, we're gonna finish our training over here. It has done some evaluation. Now we're gonna do the final step, which is the inference. So in this YAML file, it actually saves the fine-tuned model. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to use the new, newly saved fine-tuned model and make inference on it. So first we have to install Mistral inference. Now we're gonna do some imports to load our Mistral model. And we're going to load our tokenizer, our model, and model from load LoRa. And there we go, we have loaded our model. Now we're going to make a simple completion request. Explain machine learning in a nutshell in three lines. Now we can print the results. And there we go. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that enables computers to learn from data and make predictions without being explicitly programmed. And that was actually not three lines. So I'm just gonna remove that and see where it returns. And there we go. It didn't actually complete the entire sentence, which is interesting. But yeah, there you have it. That is the quick overview on how to fine tune a Mistral V3 model. I hope you guys find it ins insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these that are both technical, non-technical, advanced, and simple when it comes to LLMs and machine learning. All right, guys, have a nice day.